Right, you can call me a stingy bugger if you want, but every time I go to a supermarket and I see someone at the end of the checkout with a bucket wanting to, you know, pack your things for you, so, you know, you don't have to and you've got to put a couple of quid in their bucket, I always avoid them for some reason. <laughs> anyway, one... One day, well, it's actually when I got this beer, <laughs> I didn't have any option. There's this little girl at the end of um, the checkout, which is collecting for a local gym or something stupid anyway. It wasn't um, like a meaningful type of um, court, if you know what I mean. You know, you're not going to save the world by, you know, collecting a few quid for the local gym. Anyway, old muggins here. Ends up going to the checkout, paying for this beer and other stuff and whatever. And um, she goes, oh, do you need your bags packing? I said, look, I don't need me bags, you know, me bags packing. You know, forget about it. And of course, this bloody woman must have been charging them. Comes over and goes, what's this man say? It, it, this man was rude to me. He said he don't need his bloody bag packing. Like, I said, look, I don't need it. I said, at the end of the day, right? They charge for bags now. You give me 5p out of your bucket, then I let you pack me bags. That shut her up, didn't it? Anyway, so boys and girls, we've got Adam's Explorer. 5% ABV, lovely jubbly. There she is, backside. Happened to fall upon this one. They don't normally do this one in the north, especially in the supermarkets some reason it was on its own at the end of the aisle no you know no other adnams but it's just this one this one bottle so i thought i better pick one up because i don't think i'll be able to get hold of one you know get hold of one before anyway so this beer this beer's got chinooks and it's got um columbus now these are uh, both american of course they're both grown in the um uh, Yakima Valley, if I pronounce that, murder me in the comments if I pronounce it wrong. Anyway, they're both American, and um, I think this is Adnam's take on an American style of beer. This this is their take on it, um, given the name of it being Explorer. Maybe it says to me that they've gone over to America, tried a few beers and that, and, and kind of got influenced by their stars and decided to um, do one but you never know so let's crack her open like we do so there is the Adnams crown let's see what we get from the neck very floral very citrus um, it's got that American kind of like pale ale Sierra Nevada type of aroma you know that beautiful lemongrass. Um, there is lemon there with a the melon. Um, not much else really. It's it smells fresh. Fruit salad. That's the type of aroma it is. Kind of like. Real fruit salady aroma. It's like a like an aroma which which is feels you know fresh, inviting, you know, and um, something that you can really, really, you know, indulge yourself in, you know. But let's pour out like we do. She's gonna come out pale. I know that, and she has done. So she's come out quite pale looking. Uh, quite a big head on it. 5% this one, so it's not, it's it's, like, it's kind of a little bit of mustiness coming through from the aroma, it's, that, that kind of like um, lemon grassiness from, from the neck, it's completely gone, it's very mustiness type of, it's, to be honest, it doesn't doesn't smell that 
that pleasant really from the from the glass um, from the bottle it smelled really nice it smells stale cressy like you know the cress you get I was a member a mate of mine he got divorced and that and um, he sewed cress in, into the carpet and kind of like um, watered it and anyway let's <laughs> I'm waffling on now, so let's uh, pour out. I might have to go back up the pub. Pub's over, I'm watching it for me, and the pub's only uh, just there. I might have to go back over there. So, beautiful looking, smooth, creamy head. Um, quite a bit of carbonation there. So, let's go in. So, cheers. Sorry, cheers. There's a bitter edge that wanted to come through that pulled itself back again. It's kind of like a bitter, like a grapefruit. And we wanted to give you a, kind of like a big punch in the mouth with a big bitter note, but it pulled back. Um, first of all, it, bal it balances. It really balances. It, it, it feels that all these taste notes a controlled giving you a kind of like a smooth balance on the palate um, it actually is a really really nice beer it, it feels um, there's nothing there it feels like there's nothing there which is gonna really belt you with um, a big taste it feels that everything is kind of like controlled, limited. This sounds weird I'm saying it. It feels limited <laughs> and, and it's kind of like intertwined. So what I'm getting is um, grapefruit, lemon, orange, nectarine. Maybe even a peach, but it's it just it just feels smooth, and it's reminding me of like a, a smooth flow beer from a can, like smooth, and it's kind of like little notes here and there, safe notes, nothing to kind of like scare you away, little safe notes here and there to give you a nice enjoyable drinking experience um, do I rate this beer um, I'm a little bit disappointed a little bit disappointed with this to be honest um, I'm not saying it's terrible Adnams do not make terrible beers Adnams are a damn good brewer but um, out of all the Adnam, Adnams beers I've had I think I have to say Because this feels so safe, um, safe. It it's not doing much for me, put it that way. But it's enjoyable. I've had better Adams beers. Um, mine is my favourite, the Ghost Ship, um, where this falls. It's in last place with all the Adams beers I've had. I'm not saying it's bad. It's it's enjoyable, and that's enough said, really. So, boys and girls. Thanks for watching this review, Adnams Explorer, give it a go if you want, I'm not that keen, it's okay, it's middle of the road, it's safe, nice enough, but there you go, so thanks for watching, please subscribe, see you on my next one, so cheers.